Right, here we go then. Reaction time. The Resident Evil showcase has come and gone. Couldn't watch this live at the time because it was at 10 o'clock in the evening, my time in the United Kingdoms. And I'm um, getting older now, you know? It's past my bedtime at that point, so gotta watch myself. Um, before I get on to this reaction and watch along, just want to wish you all a very happy 2021. <laughs> um, considering the circumstances, uh, whether it's politics, COVID, or anything else, wherever you stand, I hope you're well and safe, all right? Uh, more power to us for getting through it. I'm very active on Twitter. I've been seeing Capcom countdown to this particular event. And a cheap plug here, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at EBTGrady. So please come and follow me and join the fusions. You know what I'm talking about? But um, yeah, they've been kind of teasing us, not just with this, but saying there's more Resident Evil news as well. That could be anything. Um, I've not seen anything to do with this particular event. I was doing this shit, you know, so I didn't see... All I could see was the date it was released and how long it's been released for, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they, there's rumours going about that we might be getting remasters as such of Resident Evils 1, 2 and 3. Um, some people seem to think that now is going to be the time for a Resident Evil 4 remake announcement. I'm not confident to that at all. I think they're going to just focus on this main title right here. Could be wrong, we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. I don't know what to expect uh, except for a third official trailer for Village uh, and maybe some surprises as well. Oh, and there's something else. There was a leak that there's a multiplayer element in this game. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And the reason I feel like that is because whether it's... I mean, look what happened to Resistance. Whether you, wherever, wherever you stand on Resistance, um, I wasn't particularly fond on that inclusion. I'm not going to go into that right now. I've pretty much gone through it on my channel in previous videos, so we're going to leave that behind, but we're, uh, we're going to make this a very casual reaction, so no over-the-top reactions here. It's all genuine, nothing like that, so I'm not going to be talking along every couple of seconds to avoid monetization. I don't qualify for monetization anyway. This is a totally free channel, so um, let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Music's kicking in. It's getting very dark. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow me, Capcom. Wow me. There's some new stuff there. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay there he is. that you do not Fat want to miss. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's do it. World premiere. Game Award star. Hey now. Think positively, alright? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. So far this is a better trailer than the last one they put out. Which barely showed anything here. I do like the environments, I've got to say. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. I take it you're Ethan there looking through. Interesting. I should get to hear her speak. Someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Very moody. 
Uh, getting some RE4 vibes, definitely here. Tortured contraptments. Look at that. Look at these guys. She's very juicy. Chris holding on to the baby and shit. Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> Short and sweet. Good. Don't show me too much. I hate it when they show too much. That's good. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> I thought it would be that guy. Just because I haven't seen him in a while since that first trailer. The voice acting is still spot on. Amazing, Seven was still awesome so in terms of voice questions. acting. It was a great game like, anyway. When can I pre-order this thing? Yes, tell Perhaps me. producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Go on, Pete. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. I'm happy to announce we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current generation consoles as well. That's good. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One day and date with next gen. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. Good stuff. And the Xbox One version gives you free access to the game on Xbox Series X through smart delivery. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Do it. Resident Evil Village will be available May 7th. worldwide on May 7th. Perfect timing for me, anyway. Pre-orders kicking off today. That's a good time. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have the digital deluxe edition, available on all platforms. They're doing Mr. Everywhere. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Max difficulty, There's though. There's also a collector's edition for consoles that includes all the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, poster, and art book. And for those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard bundle. That's pretty this cool. Once you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. Finally, not for me. <laughs> pre-orders from the PlayStation Store. Go and roll. Exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. That's pretty sweet. I'll be getting the base version right. though. I've been waiting for this. Been there, I done that, you know. For this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Awesome. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. <sighs> Good event so far. World premiere. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. All right, what we go here then? Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you okay, right, out, that's the Resident motive then. The village keeps the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. This is going to be a good game. <laughs> this is going to be a very good game. There's a lot of care in it. Look at that. The environments I alluded to earlier look great, but look at that. Now that we can see it without cutting away after a second or so. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. Luscious. Keeping with the good sound design as well. Resident Evil 7, a the great sound design. put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Different floor sounds. From art design to technology. <sighs> look at Everything that. ties in great. And create some beautiful visuals. Yeah, that's very beautiful. <laughs> I 
Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. So that's her daughter, then? Expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. <laughs> Nasty. Man blood. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of Dracula with um, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Little brother now? Let's so see it's a family how business. special you are. Very intriguing, Capcom. Is that bearded Shifting guy? Bit, we're Your finally going to show off some combat. Lots of questions here. <laughs> Good stuff. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. They had a sword. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting. Fuck. So you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Jesus Christ. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This, this looks juicy. Around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Rifle. There's also That's something an new. assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. It's good to see a sniper rifle. Or just a rifle like that in general. Here he is. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winter. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons. Keep it to its own thing, that's cool. Basically the merchant, yeah. The director but... wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Grotesquely uh, <laughs> intriguing as well. Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, and we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Go! Of course it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Good stuff. Do you know what I totally forgot oh, and, about? Uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. The puzzle aspect, you know. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. <laughs> Get some taunting as you're fighting, just like Jack Bakers and such. Well, that's one way to end the video. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, that's good. Let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Exclusive PlayStation 5 demo? Maiden. What's this about? Escape the dungeon. Wait, are we getting this demo? Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Right. Similar to Unlike the actual game. This experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. So what they did running up to seven. That's cool. So when do we get to play that? We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Oh shit, of course, I'm behind. <laughs> we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new shit, demo. Shit, it's only for PS5 all though. Platforms ready for sometime this spring. Okay, all right. Damn, man. That's the only time I felt shit I don't have a PS5 yet. <laughs> 
with the very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. I can wait, though. Just won't look at any other people playing. The series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games to CG movies to live action Hollywood films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Don't need to Resident tell me that, love. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Yoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. They're going to show the multiplayer aspect. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a Cloud's beta test. <laughs> the test won't happen until later next week, but I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. Hmm. What is this? There's Leon. Claire. Is this the multiplier aspect then, is it? This is interesting. Oh no. That's uh <laughs> Fair's nemesis. Hunk. Rex. This isn't Battle Royale, is it? <laughs> Our reverse is one of the ways we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village, so be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. It's like a kind of... And check out the official website for even more details. Not a throwaway. I'm not saying a throwaway kind of multiplayer aspect, but it is, does remind me we similar in ways of and Ubisoft. Congratulations resistance. to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. Mm. We can't wait to get Got our hands on our Wrap me out around that one. <laughs> for the occasion, we are bringing the celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident oh, right. Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. Yeah, this doesn't really apply to me, I don't think. I never played The Division. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sold on that Resident Evil multiplayer aspect, but if I can play it, I might give it a go, definitely. That didn't make sense. I might give it a go. <laughs> I might give it a go. Collaborations. Here we go. Infinite Darkness. A lot of people are looking forward to this. バイオハザードインフィニットダークネスについてお話したいと思います。え、時間軸はバイオハザード4の後の数年後のお話となっておりまして、レオンがスーツ姿でとあるバイオハザード4の後の数年後のお話となっておりまして、レオンがスーツ
Wow. Okay, so I've given the events another look-see, for the majority anyway, just to kind of get my head around some things that I didn't really see or catch on to before. Uh, but I've got a little roundup here, some notes on my phone. So, May 7th, worldwide release date, so that's good. Um, as far as the trailer goes, the lady whose name eludes me, I'm going to call her a vintage lady for now, because, well, she looks vintage, and I like a bit of vintage, to be honest. Um, she's on the phone to someone called Mother Miranda, who might be that old hag lady witch thing. Um, and she says, I won't let you down. So that leads me to believe that Mother Miranda is indeed the big boss lady of the whole game. Um, Ethan escapes someone called Eisenberg, who may indeed be the vintage lady's brother. And that could be that bearded guy who we saw at the beginning, no, at the end of the first trailer, and in this trailer very briefly as well, with the kind of hat, he looks a bit, kind of, he reminded me a bit of Aaron Black in a way, just the way he sounds and kind of the way he looks as well, Aaron Black being from Mortal Kombat 11. Um, so it could be him. Um, the vintage lady has daughters, which might be those pestilence girls, who I'm going to nickname for now. Don't know their official name, didn't catch on to that. Um, it looks like there's another family theme, uh, theme as well. So they're continuing on the kind of family aspect. It looks like people in this game are going to be related to each other. Maybe even related to some of the inhabitants of the village as well. We don't know, we'll, we'll see, eh? Um... And again, with the drinking of the blood, you see them kind of smeared with blood there. Uh, in the first trailer, you see that vintage lady kind of... It looks like she kind of bites Ethan's wrist. And during this trailer, she's drinking something. That's got to be blood, surely, you know? And then she gets up and kind of introduces herself officially. Um, so, yeah, a vampire theme. This is very, very strange stuff going on here. But again, it's all very intriguing and good. Chris takes Ethan's baby to the village castle. What's going on there? He shoots Mia, looks like Mia in that first trailer, and he takes their baby away um, to the village, it looks like. Um, I don't know, I've got here, are they gathering battle data, like the, the good old days in Resident Evil 1 and so forth? Um, are they using the child as bait? Are they using Ethan as bait? Because... He's been through a lot in Seven. He's capable of getting through it. Um, as someone who's quite fresh to the series now. Um, God knows. God knows. Um, the gameplay trailer. The sound design is, again, spot on. As I mentioned uh, in my reaction there. The sounds of the different floors. The, the gun noises. Uh, the doors. Um, just the environments as a whole. Um, they all sound fantastic. So that's that's going to be great. Headphones on on stations there. <laughs> Um, when the game comes out. The environments and the art design is just luscious, juicy, it all looks fantastic. Um, so that's going to help the immersion even more. Um, Resident Evil 4 style item management, crafting is back, the Duke is the new merchant. The goat models are the new bubble heads it seems, and I'm going to kind of return to this very briefly later on as well. Plenty of puzzles to solve, which is always good, I love me puzzles. Uh, being a long-term Resident Evil fan. Um, there's a separate new demo for all platforms coming in spring, so... I'm not going to get to play <laughs> this demo, this fresh demo that's been released now. Uh, obviously for the PlayStation 5. Um, and I feel for Xbox guys as well, so we're in the same boat at the moment, guys. Um, but when I do get that PlayStation 5 console, I will, hopefully it'll still be available, I will get back to that as well. And I want to finally mention the Deluxe Edition. I don't really care about any editions now. Um, as I said before, you know, I've been there, done that. I just, I'm just going to get the base game. But in terms of the Deluxe Edition, the Trauma Pack, they've, they've done this before, I think. I'm not sure if it's... They've done it in a previous Resident Evil game or another Capcom game, but they're locking a max difficulty for now as part of that pack. Which is a, you know, is a bit shitty to be honest, but it is what it is at this point. Um, they've got save room music, which is possibly Resident Evil 7 themed. Uh, Mr. Everywhere skins, as opposed to the models of the goats. So if you really love Resident Evil 7, you've got skins to put onto this game, which, you know, everyone's different, you know. But for me personally, just keep it separate, you know. Resident Evil 7 is Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil Village is Village. But, 
you know, whatever, whatever gets your socks off, you know. Um, and then there's a found footage Resident Evil 7 filter for the game as well, which I couldn't care less about, to be honest. But yeah, that's that's the general roundup. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm really looking forward to this game. This is going to be the game that is going to make me want a PlayStation 5 as soon as possible. I don't want to play this game on current gen. Um, I want to save that for the PlayStation 5, definitely. So that's where my mind is. I'm liking where it's going. They've shown enough and not too much, so I'm very thankful for that as well. So, um, so things are looking good, definitely. I hope you enjoyed this reaction and watch along. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's plenty more content coming out this year, starting with tomorrow, which is probably going to be... No, it is. My most ambitious cinematic experience with DMC Devil May Cry. It's going to be episodic. It's going to be released pretty much weekly. And that's the current plan anyway, so please look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, also please give it a thumbs up as it does give me a nice tingly feeling inside. And please feel free to comment down below and let me know your thoughts regarding this particular Resident Evil showcase. What are you looking forward to? What are you concerned about? Sound off down below. Thank you very much once more for watching guys, I appreciate it and I will see you on the next video.